157 goals in 262 games for his club, 8 goals in 14 appearances for his country. It's an outstanding record by anybody's standards. But it was so much more than that which made Derek Kevin a legend. The tank's uncompromising style made him the darling of the Albion fans for a decade and it was no surprise when, this summer, the club named a suite after the great man. But despite his dad's phenomenal record, Mark Kevin told us that the family was still deeply honoured by the tribute. Yes, Derek Kevin, he's uh, finally made it into the sweet rooms of the Hawthorns, and a very nice suite indeed. Um, I feel, I'm sure he'll be very proud and honoured to be sitting in this room, which he, I should imagine he'll be looking down thinking, yes, that's my suite, all those sweat and tears and mud and goals, uh, he'll be very proud of. I mean, obviously, we want to we want to do him justice. Is there anything in particular, you know, we should be serving up meal wise behind the bar? Is that is is there any Derek Kevin specialties that that should be in there? Uh, probably a good Yorkshire tea <laughs> and a few Banksy's bitters. That's I think would um, go down nicely for him. <laughs> yes. And obviously, you know, the decor is is going to be is going to be related to to the great man. And uh, I mean, you've you've brought us in a, a few a few lovely bits here. Just just talk us through the the, the, the bits of memorabilia you've got to your right yeah. hand side. Obviously, um, the big man Derek's England top when he played against Scotland. And his cap that he played against England, Ireland and Wales. And I'm sure he'd be very um, proud and honoured that they're sitting here back at the Hawthorns all those years later. I mean, they're interesting little pieces, aren't they? As you, as you, as you say, that's an England cap from, uh, from, I think, three games, which is not something you see nowadays. No, apparently it's just one cap per game. Um, obviously, I should imagine it was an honour to get uh, four games for your local internationals with Wales, Ireland and Scotland. So yes, it's um, a legendary cap on its own. And I mean, the shirt is just, uh, is, is lovely, not least because uh, I'm looking at it now, there's still a few cheeky grass stains on there as well. And he, he wasn't scared of, uh, scared of getting, uh, getting the shirt a bit muddy, was he? No, definitely not. Obviously, he was nicknamed the tank from the Russian goalkeeper. And unfortunately, throughout his career, he ended up with no teeth for the brave dives and everything he took. So, yes, definitely not scared of getting a bit of grass and mud on his top. Just give us a word on what you think, you'd, if your dad was casting his eye over this room, what, what you think he, he'd make of it. And how, how proud would he be to, to, to have a, a, a suite named after himself and, and be there amongst the, the Albion legends, which he is rightly so, of course, one of? Yeah, he was a very, um, a very modest man. Um, in a modest way, it sort of give it the nod of approval, uh, but at the same time, be very proud that the now the room, the suite, has obviously been named after the the great player, the tank. So yes, I'm sure he'd be very honoured with the Hawthorns. Was he one of those legends that didn't see himself as a legend? I mean, every Albion fan who, who uh, would would consider Derek Kevin one of the the legends of this football club. Did the man himself not see himself like that? Uh, I think in his younger day, he obviously had the chip and the um, <laughs> the, the hair wave back um, <laughs> with the girls cheering after him. Um, but uh, obviously he used to take a lot in his stride. Um, as I say, a very modest man. And uh, he used to just enjoy the nature of the game rather than be the prima donna of the day.